This is part four of a nine-part video series showing how to rebuild a Toyota solid front axle. It can apply to 1979 through 1985 Toyota pickups and 1984 and 85 Toyota 4Runners. Additionally, these instructions could also loosely apply to many Toyota Land Cruisers. In today's presentation, we will be showing how to rebuild the steering knuckles and spindles. The tools needed are a bench vise, torque wrench, an E12 external torque socket, ratchet, two 17 open end wrenches, a dead blow hammer, a ball peen hammer, cold chisel, round punch, masking tape, blue thread locker, fast drying enamel paint, blow nozzle, utility knife, scotch bright, and some 2x4 blocks of wood. Additionally, you will need a way to bead blast or sand blast the parts. The new parts needed for this job are an axle bushing and eight knuckle studs. Place the spindle in the bead blast machine. Blast away any dirt, rust, or paint from the spindle. Inspect the spindle to see that it has been completely cleaned. Now place the steering knuckle in the bead blast machine. Blast away any dirt, rust, or paint from the steering knuckle. Be sure the knuckle is completely clean. Using compressed air, blow off any abrasive material remaining. Using masking tape, tape off the outside area of the steering knuckle where paint is not to be applied. Using a utility knife, trim off any excess tape. Tape off the inside area of the steering knuckle that is not to be painted in the same way. Trim off the excess tape as before. Tape off the top and bottom bearing cap areas as well. Apply several coats of a fast drying enamel paint to reduce the risk of rust and corrosion and improve appearance. After the paint is dried, secure the knuckle in a bench vise. Remove the bearing cap studs using the double nut method. Install the first nut, then install the second nut. Using two 17 millimeter wrenches, tighten the second nut against the first nut. Then remove the stud by turning the first nut in a counterclockwise direction. Once the stud has become loose, loosen and remove both nuts. Once both nuts have been removed, remove the stud. Then remove the other three studs in the same way. Clean off any excess paint using a Scotch-Brite or fine sandpaper. Apply blue thread locker to the short threaded end of the new stud. Install the stud in the knuckle and torque the stud to 20 foot-pounds using an E12 external Torx socket. Install the other three studs in the same way. Then flip the knuckle over and replace the other four studs in the same way. Next we will replace the axle bushings. Secure the spindle in a vise as shown. Using a hammer and chisel begin separating the bushing from the spindle as shown. Once the bushings start separating, flip the spindle over and drive the bushing out using a hammer and punch. Flip the 
flip the spindle over and check for any burrs or irregularities that would prevent the new bushing from being driven in. With the spindle placed securely in the vise, place the new bushing squarely on the spindle. Using a dead blow hammer, start the bushing into the spindle. Be sure the bushing is going in evenly all the way around. Once started, place a block of wood on the bushing and drive it the rest of the way in. Be sure the bushing seats all the way in. We're now ready to assemble the spindle and knuckle. The tools, parts, and supplies needed are a torque wrench, red thread locker, studs, nuts, steering knuckle, spindle, spindle to knuckle gasket, backing plate eliminator, backing plate eliminator gasket, hub seal, 14 millimeter combination wrench, ratchet, 14 millimeter deep socket, and combination pliers. Apply red thread locker to the short threaded end of the stud. Thread the stud into the knuckle. Install the rest of the studs in the same way. Using pliers on the non-threaded part of the stud, tighten the studs into the knuckle. Install the spindle to knuckle gasket. Install the spindle. Install the backing plate eliminator gasket. Install the backing plate eliminator with the up oriented as shown. Install the hub seal. It may be necessary to draw the hub seal into place with the nuts. Secure the steering knuckle in a vise and be sure to protect it with a cloth. Tighten the nuts in a progressively tighter crisscross pattern until 38 foot-pounds is reached. We remind you that all the parts and supplies required to rebuild this axle can be purchased through our website at www.lowrangeoffroad.com or by calling 801-805-6644.